In the previous video of this course, we were talking about looping through strings. And now we talk about something, some topic where we use comparison signs. You see, greater than sign, less than sign and equal sign. Now we talk about string comparison. Here we have two strings with variables AX and Y, string cupboard and string lamp. How can we compare these two strings? The first idea that I have is that we can measure the length of each string and then compare the length. Which string is longer or which string is shorter? Can you write a program? Using a length function, which measures each string, how many characters are there in each string, and compare the strings. Please pause this video and write a program. Use a length function. So, in this code, on this program, I use if sentence, a keyword if, if len from x is greater than len from y, print cupboard 1, okay, I write just cw, if len from x is less than len from y, now the opposite case, right? Print lamp 1. And in the last case, we would like to cover all the poss possibilities. So if len from x equals to len from y, print tie. So we run this code and our output is, of course, cupboard one. Yeah, and even without this code, it's evident that a word cupboard is longer than a word lamp. But this code, it's not a decent code. This code looks quite strange. The code is like a text where the paragraphs are connected with each other. And this text or this code is quite rare because we have here three blocks, three if blocks, they are independent. They are not connected with each other. There is no logic in this code. How can we improve this code? What lines can we rewrite in this code in order to have a logical code? What do you think? I think we should change, we should rewrite this to the second if sentence and the last if sentence. And we should in use another keywords, for example, elif and else. Please try to rewrite this if sentences, the second and the last, in order to have a code with connected blocks, like an entire text. Pause the video and try to do that task. I would like to replace this if sentence with elif. Using elif you show that this the sentence, the sentence with len from x len from uh, less than len from y, this is something opposite. So this is opposite to the first block. So you connect the block, you are sure that they are not independent. Okay? You show that this this is the logic. The logic follows in the uh, continuous in the second block. And the last, the last if block. How can we rewrite this if sentence? We just use else. Just a keyword else and a colon sign. Else, else means that this is also this 
this would be a connected block, a, blo a third block would be connected with the first and with the second. Else you show just this is opposite to the first and to the second. If not f first condition and if not this, the second condition, then something else. So again, we cover, we cover all the possibilities. Okay. But what do you think? If there is another way to compare these two strings without length function, let's try to rewrite this code, but we quit. We, let's write to improved code, of course, improved code with elif and else, and we quit length function. I write so if x greater than y, print covered one. CW elif x less than y, print lamp one. Lamp one. LW and else print I. Let's run the code. And our output is LW lamp one and Y. In Python, each character has its own code. It's called ASCII code. This code can be displayed in different systems. Here it's displayed, I show you, in decimal system. Of course, there are not all the signs, there are some of them, but you can easily find tables with all the signs. Here I just show you some important signs. For example, exclamation mark. And to this exclamation mark, there is a code, a signed code, 33, number 33, okay, in decimal system, 33. Then comes a bunch of signs, you can check which one, which signs are there from 34 to 46. Number 47 is assigned to slash sign. Number 48, from 48 to 57, we can see numbers from 0 to 9. Each number has its own ASCII code. Now we see colon sign and number 58 is assigned to colon sign. Then bunch of signs. Number 64 is assigned to A at sign. And now you see letters, capital letters, okay? And to this letters I assigned numbers from 65 to 90. And all this capital or uppercase letters, these are letters from English alphabet. Okay, there are 26 letters, uppercase. Now the last, the last module. Here we have 91 assigned to square bracket, left square bracket. Then again, bunch of signs. Here you see a grave accent with a number 96, ASCII code 96, and then from 97 to 122, we have again letters of English alphabet, but lowercase letters. So the idea is quite clear. Each number, each character, each letter, all the characters in Python, they have their ASCII codes. And here we see these ASCII codes in de decimal, like displayed like decimals, decimal system. And what happens here in this case, if we compare strings without land function. Python compares these strings character for character. How it goes, how it works. Python takes the first character of the string x with variable x and the first character of the string lamp with variable y, okay? Python compares letter, up, uppercase letter c and, uh, uh, lo sorry, lowercase letter c and lowercase letter l. Lowercase letter c. It's easy to count. What ASCII code does it have? Letter A is 97, letter B is 98, and letter C is 99. Okay. And lowercase letter L. It's not necessary to count. It's quite uh, obvious that this, uh, the code of this letter is from 100, is greater than 99, from 100 to 121. And it's obvious that ASCII code of letter L is greater than ASCII code of letter C. So the 
like we can say the letter L has more greater uh, greater value greater value than letter C. Python compares the first letters, and if they are not if they are not equal, if some letter is greater than another, Python doesn't move to the second letter of the string of each string. It doesn't compare U and A. It's enough to compare first letters and stop. Python stops and immediately gives us the output. And the output is lamp one. Why? Because letter L has a greater number, greater ASCII code than letter C, lowercase letters. The next example. Here we have two strings chair and table. If we compare the strings with len function, what do you think using this code, this kind of code? What do you think what output is in this case using len function? I write it here at the bottom of the page. With len function, our output is tie. Each string has five characters, five letters. This is quite clear. And now let's compare them using the second way, where comes ASCII code. So if M greater than N, print chair one, CW, if M less than N, Print what? TW table one and else print tie. And our output is what output do we have in what output comes in this case? It's evident that you can see, you can check again here. So letter C is 99, we already know, yes, it's at, in the, at the beginning, and letter T is in the middle here. So it's evident, it's obvious that letter T has greater ASCII code than letter C. Both letters are lowercase. Of course, table 1. TW is our output. And now I would like to modify a variable N. So M stays chair and I modify variable n change and change it's now table with capital T with uppercase T table you can see here big uppercase T Then we write the same code. This code, the same. We write it here. And what do you think? What output is in this case with capital letter T? What wins? What string can win? Of course, look here. Chair, chair one. Why? Uppercase letters, they have smaller ASCII codes than lowercase letters. So if letter C, lowercase letter C is 99, then uppercase letter T is something between 66 and 89. Is low, for sure is lower than 90. That's why chair 1. Have another example for you. Here we have two chairs, but one chair is with a lowercase h and another is with uppercase h. So here I think you can guess without any problem what output is in this case. So if m greater than z then print chair with lowercase h one if m less than z print uppercase chair one and else 
print tie tie so i just want uh, to show you how python compares character for character or in this case letter for letter so first letter c lowercase c and lowercase c they are equal and now after that python goes moves to the next letter to the second letter or to the second character in this case letter lowercase h and uppercase case uh, uppercase h so what do you think which chair one lowercase or uppercase of course lowercase again check again our table you see lowercase h is here is between 97 and 122 and uppercase is between 65 and 90. that's why lowercase chair with lowercase h1 and the last example i want to show you here we have just one word one word let's see how it works with several words or with a short phrase so g1 greeting one how are you friend how are you friend and g2 greeting two how are you friend uppercase f and again we write the code so if g1 greater than g2 print lowercase friend one a leaf g1 less than g2 print uppercase friend one and else print tie print tie so in this case how it works yes we have here a phrase but the beginning is exactly the same so python compares first letter second third then compares spaces and then goes 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 here to f here we have a lowercase f and uppercase f and it's evident that lowercase f has a greater ascii code than uppercase f and friend lowercase friend with lowercase f one and now it's time to train string comparison please do the corresponding exercises in the video description below